time to start to think about camps for the kids, both March break and summer. Joining us right now, we say hello to Jennifer Cunningham, who is uh, the recreation uh, supervisor uh, with the uh, City of Ottawa. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Busy time of year, I bet. Very busy. Yeah. We're gearing up for a very busy week. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet. Now, okay, so tons of camps. We'll get to a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. uh, now, they're both in English and French. That's correct. Great. Yes, okay. we are a bilingual city, so we want to make sure we're servicing all the residents. So. Mm -hmm. Now, before we even get to all the details, I mean, easy to sign up to these camps? Because some people get a little concerned about that, perhaps. How do I sign up? So you can sign up in a number of ways. So you can visit Join Ottawa and search for programs there. Click on a link and it'll bring you to our registration page. Um, there you can either set up an account if you don't already have one, or you can, if you already have one, you just punch in the information and there you go. Easy, okay. Now, who are these camps uh, geared towards? What, what, what's the age, age range? So they range from ages three to 17, actually. Um, so we have some uh, camps geared towards the preschoolers, some half days, and then we have full day camps for the older groups, as well as uh, some leadership or technological camps mm. for our older age groups. Lots to get to, um, and I want to ask as well, so inclusive camps, uh, what about uh, kids with special needs? We have many services for uh, people of varying abilities in our city, and so if uh, anyone's looking for camps geared to specific groups or if they just need support for their camps, then they can certainly contact our Inclusive Recreation Unit. Okay, we see some pictures here uh, of uh, some kids just enjoying themselves at camp. Yes. It's nice to get away and to, from, the, from the, the parents. You know, oh, and for school. the parents to have a break too. Yeah, yeah that's probably <laughs> um, pretty important. Yeah, yeah they, it's it's a blast. They have so many different activities for them to do. It's Make some new a friends. lot of fun. Absolutely. Okay, so tell us about some of the highlights, some of the camps that are available. So there's a range from arts camps to sports camps to general day camps. So if your child's not sure exactly what they want to do, they can register for something where they get to do a taste of everything. Hmm. Or there's camps geared towards specific sports or specific um, arts and, and crafts and things like that as well. Okay, certification camps as well? Yes, we have many of those. So if your child uh, is looking to maybe one day be a lifeguard and come work for the city of Ottawa at yeah. our pools, um, we do have various um, certification courses for them as well okay. during the camp time. Even to become a babysitter? Yes. That's something. Absolutely. Kids are already starting to think about uh, money and being entrepreneurs, I oh, guess. Oh, they are at a very young age. Yeah. <laughs> so are there, what are the, some of the new camps that have been impl implemented this year? So for summertime and March break, um, we have a Shakespeare camp that's going to take place at the Nepean Creative Arts Centre. Mm -hmm. um, and that's for ages 10 to 14. And it'll adapt some of the uh, classic Shakespeare tales um, to be kid-friendly scripts. and. Mm. They'll learn um, different performance techni techniques and then they'll do a costume performance at the end. Hmm. Um, we also have a new Lego camp that's coming up, wow. um, Robotics EV3. Um, we've had Lego camps for a number of years and each year they try to just, um, you know, as technology advances, they try to do the same. So mm -hmm. super cool. Now I'm not putting down Shakespeare, but I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm putting my money on the Lego camps. The Lego camps are popular, yes. <laughs> the kids love them. Yeah, because everything is awesome. That's the and song for Especially when you're a part of a team. Oh my gosh, she knows, <laughs> she knows the movie. Robo robotics camp? I think you mentioned a touch of that at the early, perhaps, unless I was just hoping you would. There's a robotics camps happening as well? Yes. So, yes, with our Lego camps, um, we do have various different types of them. Um, and there's a new one coming up. It's EV3 Robotics. So they're using um, some of the techniques learned in a Mindstorms camp, is what it's called, mm. um, to put together. Um, they create sort of robots that can interact with the environment. It's really, really cool. And this is for ages 8 to 10 years of age? That's correct. Wow, okay, that sounds pretty uh, like in-depth to, to, to create robots and stuff. Uh, tell me about summer registration. So when do the guides uh, start becoming available for all the camps? So the guide will be online on February 20th, um, and registration for our spring and summer programs begins uh, March 4th and uh, for aquatics programs, and March 9th or sorry, March uh, 6th for land programs. Okay. So, and that's at 9 p.m. online. Not to put you on the spot, but how many camps, how many programs do you think there are that's available? Oh, hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds, hundreds right? yes. Yeah. yeah. And I just wanted to make that point because I know a lot of people are probably thinking, you know, camp, what? But obviously you've mentioned things that are really outside of the box when it comes to summer camps. And I just think uh, that you need to go to ottawa.ca slash recreation to find out more. Yes, check it out. We have something to offer for everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, Jennifer Cunningham, we appreciate your time here today. Well, thanks so much for having me. Always so much fun. My name is Dylan Black. We appreciate your time. Take care.